What would you do if you were told you could not see your kids anymore? What if the reason for that was based on lies? What if the courts ignore the laws? How does a parent cope with that? Well, we are here to break the system. To fix what needs to be fixed. It is time for Honest Justice. Honest Justice, Case File 1, Hartford, Connecticut. A lesson in pay-per-view parenting the hard way. Pay to see your child as long as you pay my guardian ad litem, who also happens to be in my back pocket. Denise Garvey's case is one of the worst cases in Connecticut State Family Court history. This woman has been dragged over the coals for 12 long years as her multi-millionaire ex's team of rabbit vendors have come after her. Despite not having a speeding ticket in her past, despite being a nurturing mother, a wonderful cook who keeps a beautiful home, she was placed on supervised visitation and she has to pay $64 an hour for the privilege of seeing her child. This went on for three and a half years. My experience with the GAL has been very unfortunate. Um, I know that they're taught that they they cannot be biased, they, they really have to truly see both sides because their job is the best interest of our children. Well, my GAL has become very friendly with my son's father, friendly enough to be seen attending a, um, I'll call it a Christmas adult cocktail party, for which I have pictures of her very happy with the dad at his home. You can see pictures of my son in the background. And she's enjoying a cocktail party. I like everyone to see that. It's kind of unbelievable. Here he is, here she is with the, the wife at the cocktail party. And the wife has a cocktail in her hand. Then there's more. This is the mother-in-law. She's also enjoying the party at the father's home. And this is a woman that's making the best, the, the decisions for my son, in the best interest of my son. So now the story gets a little bit better. I have written documentation that specifically says from my ex that I have alleged breast cancer. He's insinuating that I'm lying. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. My wig. I just received chemo and put my wig on. I've got my happy face on. I'm on my way to my ex's attorney, Lisa Magliacetti, to give her some paperwork that she's demanding. She has said that she will deny my motion for modification of child support while I go through this horrific journey of breast cancer. Meanwhile, the court has asked that we both exchange our financial information. Oddly enough, the rules only apply to me. Again, in closing, I'd like to say that the sad thing is about a GAL, they have no boss. And we all have bosses. We all have somebody we have to answer to. If we're not doing our job correctly, there's somebody to go to. There is no go-to person. A lot of things happen when you're a pro se individual in the court system. You get run over. Meanwhile, attorneys say whatever they want. They lie, cheat, and steal. It's horrific. Unlike in the rest of the country, where fathers are targeted, and fathers are kicked out of their marital homes and resigned to being a discarded dad for nothing but his wallet, in Connecticut, the reverse is the case. My ex is very wealthy, so he's able to buy whatever it is he wants. Whether it's the truth or not, he gets what he wants because he has the money. And it's all about money. It's all about the wallet. It's all, it, it's, it's never been about the only child I ever had in my life that was taken away from me at the age of two and a half, two and a half years old. Something has to be done to make sure that the family court vendors and the attorney guardian ad litems are made to uphold the law and not abuse the process 
to harm mothers and fathers and children for the benefit of their almighty daughters. Um, recently, I've developed a medical issue. I've been um, diagnosed with breast cancer. Last week, I had a double mastectomy. With that said, I've had two surgeries thus far. Um, chemo, eight uh, chemotherapies, three that have been completed, uh, which is to, including today, and then uh, two more reconstruction surgeries, uh, followed by um, radiation. So this is an extensive um, program to be on um, for stage three breast cancer. Given the size of your bill, $1,700, just so everybody knows that's what I owe her, and how long it's been outstanding, now that's current billing, um, a $35 check, which I sent to her in good faith, uh, was not appropriate, is what she said. She said, perhaps you could put the entire amount of, of the bill on a credit card and be done with this monthly payment. Well, it's not something you're ever going to be done with, by the way. GALs, it's a constant thing. You're constantly um, charged money for whatever. Emily Moskowitz has been reported to the Grievance Committee several times, has never come to my home, has never come to see how I provide for my son does not return my phone calls, rarely returns any emails, and is most concerned about suiting the father and his wife, not doing what's best for the child, which is to have both parents in his life. Um, the end of June into July, with my son at Black Island, oceanfront, in that particular case I did not see my son for 32 consecutive days because the court system allows him to take whatever time he wants uh, with my son which prevents our visitation. We're currently pulling up to his place of business. Um, he owns this he owns this company he owns the property that it's built on it is furnished nicely for all his employees. I'm not sure how many he has currently, but he has a gym built in. It, it's very lovely. It's been 12 years in this court system fighting for my rights to be a mother to my son. And every child deserves to have both parents in their lives, regardless of what they're going through. It's a horrible, you can watch a child's life unravel because they are pitted against parents. This needs to stop. I think others have said, the balance on your financial affidavit, that speaks volumes about how conflicted your case is going to become. This has to stop. It's not right, and it's not fair. In fact, with what's going on with stage three breast cancer, I should be allowed to call my son, which I'm not allowed to even call him on the telephone. I have not been allowed to go to a school, any school events or anything that goes on in that school, have not received report cards, etc., in six years. Um, attorney GALs are incentivized to throw grenades into family for the benefit of their billing. It is time for honest justice.